Good morning and happy Tuesday. Today I want to walk you through the steps to install the Veeam agent for Linux on an Ubuntu VM in my lab. The process is very straightforward and I'll make a list of condensed commands that you need to run from the command line to get things installed and up and running. At the end of the tutorial, you will be able to download the list of commands I used so you can follow along with this video and the same process in your lab or production environment. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Today I wanted to walk you through installing the Veeam agent into an Ubuntu Linux box. It's pretty straightforward. There's a lot of commands though, and I will have those in a Word document slash PDF that you'll be able to get a copy of after we're finished with this. But first of all, we want to take what I downloaded from Veeam when you log into the Veeam server itself and say, hey, I want to download the agent. You pick the particular version of Linux that you're doing this for. I pulled down the one for Ubuntu, and this says .debian because it'll do Debian or Ubuntu at the same time. So let's jump to the desktop, and we're going to move this over. Okay, there's the file that I'm looking for right here. Okay, and let me connect to my Ubuntu box. And I'm using something called Transmit. It's a real cool little tool, and I use it f because I'm a Mac guy. Uh, there are other tools out there, WinSCP, if you're Windows, uh, FileZilla, things like that. And all I'm doing is copying this file over into the root. Okay, so let's just take and drag it and drop this bad boy right over here. And there it sits. Okay, so we will now close this. And we no longer need this tool, so we'll close it out. And I've logged into my Ubuntu uh, through SSH. As you can see, this is just Linux 5.15, but it's 20.04.6, okay? It's been patched uh, and it's ready for us to work moving forward. There's nothing other than the normal patches that have been applied to this. So if we see what's on here, We can see that's our file right there. So let's run our command. That's it. The repository is on there and unpacked. Now from there, it's gonna depend on your particular flavor of Linux as to what we wanna do next, okay? For this though, we wanna do an update just to make sure we don't need anything else. So here, we're gonna to go to just in case there's anything else we need out there. So from here, we wanna do and install Veeam. It's asking us, hey, here's all the different goodies that we're gonna put on here. Are you okay with this? Do you have enough disk space? We're gonna tell it yes. And it's gonna take a second or two to do its thing. And I'm just letting it run and recording it at the same time because I want you to see approximately how long it's going to take. Okay, yeah, a little over a minute and a half, something like that. 
Now, there's some other things that we want to make sure that you can get all the functionality out of this that we want to put on the Ubuntu system. Uh, one is the dynamic kernel modules. Also, there is a common internet file system utilities. We also have tools uh, that will append squash HFS file systems. Uh, there's also a command line for ISO 9660. And there's also one that creates ISO 9660 CD-ROM system files. And the last piece we're going to put in installs Linux kernel headers for taking advantage of snapshot module for Veeam. And all those can be installed by running this one command. And again, you're going to be able to download this. But this command will make sure everything is on there. And yes, we want to put everything on. And again, these are things that are going to make sure that you're getting all the functionality out of the agent that you possibly can. So now that those are in place, I'm going to clear the screen. Okay, and I'm in iTerm uh, 2. I'm on my Mac and it's very customized, but it's easy to set up and easy to do, and I'll do a video on that at another time, but that's the tool that I'm using so that you'll know. So if we want to get things rolling here, the only thing we want to do is run Veeam. And here is our start screen. So let's navigate through this, and I'm using the space, oh, let me get my mouse in here. I'm using the space bar to accept these. And then we're going to go to next. And I'm just tabbing across to those and hitting the enter key. Add drivers for this machine, patch VM. I'm not going to run the patches or do the recovery stuff that is there that ask where those things are located. We're going to bypass all this stuff because in my lab I won't need it. And there's no license file. I'm running this without a license just to show you what we can do from here. Now across the bottom we have some choices and the first thing we want to do is hit C for configure and this is going to be our first job. And I'm going to call this UBO2 backup full. And then we'll do a next. We're going to do the entire machine. Next. We want to move this though, however. Let's see if I can get this back up here. Down to Veeam Backup and Replication Server. Okay. And then we're going to do next. And it's going to ask me for the server address. Dot one sixty eight dot sixty eight dot twenty. And the login will be this guy. password will be that and let's go to next and let's go to the default backup repository so it's going to push it all the way out to that inside of Veeam we're going to do next set my job to run automatically daily every 30 minutes I'm going to tab up here, uncheck that, and then start the job as I schedule. We're going to start it now. And then we're going to do finish. The backup job has been started and it's running. 
I'll come back in just a second after we get this out there to the server and show you what it looks like when it's done. That truly didn't take but less than a minute and a half and we've got a successful full backup that's there. So now that that's done, I'm going to hit escape and quit and we're back to our box and let's exit out of here and we'll close this tool down as well. Now let's take a look inside of our Veeam 12.1 server. So now if we look inside of our 12.1 Veeam server, let's take a peek here and look underneath our backups. It has created this Linux agent backup job in here. Okay, if we go down to disk, we can see that it did in fact dump that in the default repository that we had here. And there is our backup job. One restore point and bingo. So from the Ubuntu through the agent back to the Veeam server works like a champ. Great product, great tool. I'll show you the one for Windows in just a couple of days, and I'll also do one for you on the Mac. Thanks for watching. See you next time.